Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, good night. Hi, teacher. Hi, good night. How are you guys doing? Are you doing all right? Ya cenaron? Ya están listos for today's class? All right. Solo vamos a dar unos minutitos para que se unan todos los demás. Thank you very much, guys, for being on time. Estamos girls, solo girls ahorita. Estamos Gloria, Aime, Emma, Areli. Thank you very much for being on time, girls. All right, so in the meantime, mientras se unen todos los demás, I want to go ahead and share this screen because this is going to be the first topic que vamos a ver el día de hoy. Excellent. All right, we are just waiting for the rest to join. Can you hear me, Ms. Guichanga, girls? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Katya just joined. Hi, Katya. Hi, good night. Hi, Katya, good night. I am sharing right now the topic con el que vamos a comenzar el día de hoy, which is to and sell. Yesterday, we were reviewing, quiero ver qué pantalla les estoy compartiendo. Yeah. Yesterday, we were reviewing neither and either or either. Um, so I do want to correct that, guys. So I've been corrected. Bueno, yo solita me fui a corregir porque me quedó la duda ayer que me lo dijeron. Is it going to be either or either? So I learned that it is either as per the Royal Academy of English in England. But um, I have learned yesterday at night, that it is valid if you say either. So that's okay. It's valid if you say either. So that's okay if you say either. That's fine. Thank you very much for joining, Denise and Hugo. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us today. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. Thank you for joining good the night, chat teacher. as well. Hi, good night. All right. So, nos ha agarrado la tarde el día de hoy to the rest of the team. What's going on? All right, guys. So, I do uh, have to apologize porque ayer les dije que ahora íbamos a ver lo del midterm, pero es que a mí se me había, I, I, I had completely forgotten que no tuvimos clase el lunes. So that means que we have class tomorrow. Let's remember that we have class tomorrow. Good night, uh, teacher. Hi, good night. Thank you for joining. And, and since we have class tomorrow, si vamos super al día, vamos super bien. And tomorrow, no, hoy, sino tomorrow, si vamos a hacer el review del midterm. All right. So today we are going to review, um, yesterday we were seeing uh, modal verbs neither and either and today we will review so and to and we will review modal verbs would and will and we will see a little conversation about that 
And once we have done that, tomorrow we will do some listening exercises and we will review the midterm. Y vamos a ver más vocabulary tomorrow. Y con eso estaríamos cerrando section three, guys, which means that we are justo, justo, justo en el medio, right in the middle of the module. Ya vamos a la mitad del módulo, guys. So, vamos a mitad de camino. That's really good. Now, we have 11 people, ya, yeah, in the conference. We have Katia, Jose, Hugo, Gloria, Emma, Aime, Denis, Alex, Ricardo, and Areli. All right, guys. So, all right, nos ha agarrado la tarde, pero anyways, that's okay. Let's go, guys. All right, let's begin. Y mientras se vayan uniendo, if you need to ask any questions, of course, I can answer that for you. So, who just joined? Oscar just joined. Thank you, Oscar, for joining. And let's see. All right, so let's begin. So we were reviewing yesterday, as I said, neither and either or either. Um, and today we are going to see two and so. Ayer estábamos viendo que neither and either vienen a ser como el tampoco en español, como yo tampoco. For example, uh, Ricardo, if I were to say, para un ejemplo con neither o either, cualquiera de los dos, if I were to say, I don't like to drink wine. How could you answer? Uh, I, I neither. We don't either. I, I, I neither. I don't some, I, I need examination. Excellent. Ex that's exactly. I don't either or neither do I. Yeah. Excellent. So let's see um, another example using neither or either or either. Um, if I were to ask Emma, for example, Emma, if I ask, if I said, I don't want to go out tonight, how could you agree with me using neither or either or either? Teacher, ayer se me fue el internet justo en eso. I am so sorry, Emma. Okay, guys. Si eso sucede, I completely understand. That's okay. A mí también. Yo también he tenido power outages con esta situación. That's okay. Siempre recuerden que si tienen alguna situación así, todas las clases las subimos a YouTube, all right? So you can review those. And that's perfect. Okay, I didn't know that, Emma. That's okay. So, for example, if I were to ask um, Alex, if I were to ask Alex, I don't want to go out tonight. How could you answer that to me? Using neither or either. Um, neither do I. Excellent. That's correct. Perfect. Veo que sí hemos comprendido neither and either. Antes de que comencemos con to and so, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta con neither or either? Eh, simplemente aclarando, siempre, eh, la, ambas significan tampoco eh, y se pueden utilizar independientemente. That's correct. Es correcto. Ambas significan tampoco. Se usan para eso. Y solo recordemos las rules. Se los mandé a WhatsApp también, todas estas imágenes. Las rules, neither lo usamos al comienzo. And mm -hmm. either yeah. lo usamos al yeah. final. Yeah, ahí, ahí van en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yeah, I sent it, yeah. Para que podamos review and you can, um, you can have that at hand. Lo podamos tener a la mano para, para remember sí. that. Y eso es muy bueno porque también uno mira ahí WhatsApp. Yeah, exactly. Y, y practice. Yeah, so that you can practice. Y si tiene alguna pregunta de esas imágenes, me la pueden hacer también. Excellent. Excellent. So let's see who joined. Jonathan joined. Let's see. Wilfredo. Very well, guys. Let's continue. So we are going to begin reviewing to and so. So we can say that this goes on the contrary, by the contrario, the neither and either or either. 
So if neither and either were tampoco, ¿qué sería to and sell? Thank you. Yo to también. and sell. Yo también. That's correct. Excellent. So estas las vamos a usar de la misma manera, the same way, pero para decir yo también. So this is going to be positive, right? Um, estas oraciones van a ser positive. So I am hungry. I love apple pie. I can play chess. So, uh, and you can answer igualmente con, que con neither or either, que una se ocupa al, prim, al, al inicio y la otra al final. The same thing happens with to and sell. So we are going to use to at the end of the sentence and so at the beginning of the sentence. And what we can see here is that the syntax or el orden de la oración, it changes from, uh, from the word to at the end and then the subject and the verb to be, I am, to, and then it goes the other way around, al revés. Va la palabra so, el verb to be, después el subject. So am I, so do I, so can I, o el verbo, right? Aquí estamos usando el verb to be, am I, aquí el verbo do, so do I, y so can I. All right. So, for example, if I were to say, um, let's see, let's write this down. If I were to say, I like pineapple. ¿Qué me podrían contestar? I like summer work. Summer work. Pineapple. ¿Cómo, cómo? I like to. I like yeah. to. So, I like it too. Yeah. I like to. All right. So let's review that very briefly. Let's see. Very quickly, we are going so, to see like, that. Some way, pineapple. So like I. I so like I to. It too. So we are going to do it like this. ¿Por qué tenemos que decir I like it too? A mí también. Yeah, Porque, exactly. Uh, A mí también me gusta. Uh, it uh, está sustituyendo a pineapple. Exactly, exacto. Aplausos. Yay, aplausos, round of applause. Excellent. I like, uy, pero I'm sorry, pero aquí lo he puesto súper mal y nadie me dice nada. ¿Qué pasó? Yeah, ¿Me poniendo true. atención? Tú va con doble O. Exactly. Yeah. Nadie me dice nada. ¿Qué pasó? I like it too. Yeah. Um, sorry, one moment. I like pineapple. I like it too. Y decíamos, tengo que poner el it. Yes, you have to. Porque el it está suplentando al... Okay, this one won't work. No, uh, esto. Okay. El pineapple. Porque si solo venimos y decimos, I like to, that doesn't mean anything. No es ni siquiera que nos, que nos esté faltando algo, sino que esa oración así como tal no significa nada. I like to. Y si alguien solo la escucha, va a pensar que están diciendo, I like to. Y se va a quedar, ok, you like to what? You like to do what or, or what? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué me quieres decir, right? So, uh, I like to. That's correct. Kudos and congratulations a la persona que me dijo eso. I loved that analysis. Excellent. So. Thank you. Excellent. So I like pineapple. I like it too. Y si estamos usando. Este, podemos decir I like it too. Y podemos decir también que otra sería manera de decirlo. I do too. Y así sustituimos toda esta sección. Let's see. 
sustituimos todo esto. I like pineapple. Let's see. What do you like? You, what do you do? You like pineapple. So I do too. I like pineapple too. I do too. Of course, también podemos decir solo me too. And those are perfectly valid as well. Estas tres son maneras de usar too. I like pineapple. I like it too. I like pineapple. I do too. And I like pineapple. Oh, me too. All right. Y si decimos so, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Si estuviéramos usando so. I like so. So, so, too. so do I. So, like. do I. so do I. So That's do I. That's correct. So am I. No, porque no puedo decir so am I, porque I'm not saying that I am anything. I am saying that I like pineapple. Yeah. And liking is something that I do. I grab something. And when I grab something, cuando agarro algo, that's something that I do. Es algo que yo hago. Cuando algo me gusta, es algo que yo hago. That's something that I do. Uh, when I, on the other hand, de, de, in, de otra forma, I am tired. Ahí sí puedo decir, so am I. Porque estoy diciendo, yo también lo estoy. Yo también estoy cansada. Pero si yo te digo, me gusta la piña, I like pineapple, no me vas a decir, yo también lo soy, porque sos, sos que vea. O sea, estoy diciendo que me gusta la piña. So, um, es, prestemos mucha atención a eso. ¿Qué me están diciendo? So, para yo saber si voy a decir, so do I. So am I, or so can I, or so would I, so could I, so will I. Todas esas las podemos decir. So do I. Tengamos mucho cuidado con eso, guys. Si van a poner... Se puede decir, eh, I am do too. Mm, no. What are you trying to say? ¿Qué estamos intentando decir? A mí también. En no, I'm no hungry. hungry, sí puedo decir me too, ¿verdad? Yes, ahí sí puedo decir no. me too. Ya. Yeah. Pero estamos usando too de manera correcta. Ya, yeah. excelente. Um, no, no podemos decir, eh, ¿cómo me habían dicho? So do, I do o como me habían dicho, I do too, si se puede. I do too, si se puede. I do too, esto si se puede. Ok, gracias, teacher. Of course. Sí, esto si se puede. I do too. Si me dicen, I like pineapple, también puedo decir, I do too. Que es lo que ya habíamos puesto aquí. Lo que no podemos hacer es... To do I, porque ya dijimos, el to va al final, right? El to va al final y el so va al comienzo. And that's always going to be that way. Esa ya es una rule. All right, so for example, Oscar, si yo digo, if I were to say, um, I am tired. How could you answer? Tanto con tú como con so. Eh, eh, the heavy question. Yeah. I like, for example, uh, the, for the mice, I like pineapple. Yeah. Is uh, so answer, I like it. I like it too. Yes. And the other, uh, I like pineapple, uh, pineapple, uh, so do I. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, I like the apple pie, yes. so do I. Respond. Yeah, that's correct. That's a good example, yeah. So if I were to uh, ask you, um, if I were to say, I am tired, 
how could you agree to that? ¿Cómo podríamos usar to y so como respuestas? Pero si yo digo, I am tired. Tired. Tired, yeah. I am too, and so am I. So am I. That's correct, oh, guys. I am too, porque yo estoy diciendo que I am tired. That I am. So vamos a escuchar lo que me están diciendo. If la otra persona me está diciendo que they do something, they like something, que es un verbo así. So then, uh, mientras no sea to be, then that's going to be uh, do. If they can do something, then you can too. If they would do something, you can too. You would, um, you would too. Etcétera, etcétera. Según lo que nos estén diciendo. Let's see, Denise Castro. So, uh, if I were to say, I can, I can swim. How can you answer to that? I am too. If I were to say, I can. Oh, I can too, I can too. Excellent, Denise, thank you very much. I can too, or oh, so can I. Excellent. All right. So we also have, let's see, if I asked um, Katia, Katia, if I said, I like to read. I like it. I like to. I, I like it like too. I like it too. I do too. I do too. Excellent. Or so do I. Those are perfect, Katia. Thank you very much. And let's see, can I please have Jennifer? Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Si yo digo, if I say, I am, um, I am, I am sleepy. How can you answer to that? I am too. Do. I am too. That's correct. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I am too, or so am I. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Si yo pregunto a Jose. Jose, I Ok, y esto, un momentito, José, y esto también se puede ocupar no solo para when I like something o when I am something de I'm hungry o I'm tired, sino yo puedo decir I am a teacher y la otra persona me puede decir so am I o I am a teacher too o I am too, so am I. También para profesiones o para anything that you want to say um, yo también. So, for example, hoy sí, José. Um, José, I am a student. I am too. Sorry, I, I am, am too. So am I. That's correct. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see. Can I please have... One more example. Can I have Carlos? Teacher. Hi. So if I were to say, I can, I can speak English. So can I. So can I. Excellent. That's perfect. Thank you very much. All right. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda sobre cómo usar to y so? No. ¿Todo bien? ¿Everything clear? Yes. Miren que hoy hasta me puse mi, 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 mi peinadito de que hoy era el último día de, de, de la clase y me di cuenta que no, que we didn't have classes on Monday, that we have classes for tomorrow, así que mañana me va a tocar arreglarme otra vez. So that's fine. Okay. 
All right, Excellent. that's fine. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. We are now done with these words, which are so, to, neither, and either, guys. Perfect. So moving on, what we have next are modal verbs. Aquí me estoy adelantando un poquito, but the reason I want to do this is because after that, we have a conversation, and I want to see the modal verbs first so that um, we can understand that better. So let's see would and will. Right now we have would right here. Y nos dice, we can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would you like to drink tea? Now, alguien sabe o alguien me puede decir what would be the difference between would and will? Creo que el will es como de futuro y el would es algo así como te gustaría. Yeah, that's correct. En otras palabras, el will, uh, you are actually, you are sure you are going to do it. Si se va a hacer, se hace porque se hace en otras palabras. And would, yeah. Es, es, yeah, exactly. It's still a possibility, right? Would you, estamos siendo, es más como una duda. So, would you like to drink tea? Or if we are ordering at a restaurant, llega el mesero, uh, would you like to order? Y nosotros le podemos decir, yes, I will have, or can I have tal cosa, pero for this exercise purpose, uh, I will have the pasta. Yeah, por decir un ejemplo, I will have tal cosa, porque ya decidimos que eso es lo que vamos a comer. So for wood, aquí tenemos wood, and this S stands for subject. So subject can be you, I, they, we, etc. Would you like to drink tea? Would you like to drink an infinitive? Y el complement, right? Cuando estemos haciendo una pregunta. And we can answer. Podemos contestar. Yes, I would. Oh, no. I wouldn't. I would not. Wouldn't. For example, si yo pregunto Fabricio, for example. Yes, it's true. Fabricio, would you like to, would you like some coffee, for example? Yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> yes, I would. Exactly. Ahora sí, this is important. Thank you very much, Fabricio. Si me están preguntando con would, no voy a responder con will. A menos, o sea, no voy a responder la short answer con will. Si voy a contestar, Yes, I would. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Uh, pero no voy a contestar. Yes, I will. Si vamos a hacer una respuesta ya más larga, we can use it, of course. Por ejemplo, if we were to say, si, le, si vamos a negar, no, no, I will have some coffee instead. O oh, ya dicho de manera corta, no, I'll have some coffee. So, si vamos a dar una respuesta ya más elaborada, then we can do it. Pero como short answer, si nos están preguntando con would, contestamos con would. Si nos están preguntando con will, contestamos con will. Como short answer, right? For example, como con, como con el so y con el to. Si nos están diciendo algo, entonces, o so, o to, pero no lo vamos a combinar. Para short answers. I just want to make that very clear, que eso solo es para short answers, pero of course you can say something else. Um, and then, for example, si yo le pregunto a Lisette. Hi, Lisette. Hi. Hi, Lisette. So, um, Lisette or Esmeralda, what do you prefer? 
the dog me gusta. Okay, so Lisette, um, would you like to go out? And yes, I will. Excellent. Yes, I would. Oh, for example, a mí me pueden preguntar ahorita, uh, would you like to go to the park? Y yo puedo contestar también, puedo contestar solo, no, I wouldn't. Y sí, y puedo elaborar en mi respuesta. No, I wouldn't. It's too cold outside. O puedo decir, no, it's too cold outside. O sea, tampoco es que necesariamente tengo que contestar con would. Um, but we can use it for questions. So let's see. Podemos usarlo para questions. Podemos usarlo para short answers. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. O si nos hacen una pregunta. Would you like to drink tea? No, I don't really, I don't really want to tea. That's fine. Excellent. So let's see another example. Uh, Mauricio, Stanley. Yes, teacher. Of course. If I said, um, would you like to play soccer? Yes, I would. Excellent, excellent, guys. All right. See you, Leo. I may. I may. Would you like to watch a movie? Yes, I will. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, so, ¿tenemos alguna duda sobre cómo usar would? No, teacher. All clear? Yes. Teacher, eh, yeah. eh, con will, podemos tener otros ejemplos, porque ese no, no mucho me queda... Claro, con ejemplo. Eh, will o would? Will, will. Ah, sí, a will nos vamos a mover ahorita para verlo más okay. a profundidad. Ok, yeah. thanks. Thank you, thank you, of course. Ok, so let's see. Aquí tenemos más WH questions. What would you like to eat for dessert? Aquí ya nos está preguntando algo más específico, right? What would you like? What would you like to eat? Um, what would you like to have for dinner? Le podemos preguntar, por ejemplo, um, estamos, vamos a ir a cenar con alguien. So, what would you like to have for dinner? ¿Qué te gustaría cenar? ¿Qué te gustaría? Es una posibilidad. All right. So, let's see. ¿Qué tengo? ¿Dónde tengo Will? Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, I do want to, antes de que pasemos a Will, I do want to make sure of this. Cuando vamos a abreviarlo, guys, we're going to go ahead and say, but I would, this is the same as saying I. You would. He would. Y así, etcétera, etcétera. Acostumbrémonos un poquito a comenzar a abreviar. No solo porque nos va a fluir más, vamos a poder escribir más rápido, sino porque this is mostly the way you're going to find all of the information. Probablemente libros, um, revistas, periódicos, ¿no? Porque son, pues, medios informativos, right? They are formal and they have to follow certain protocols, tienen que seguir protocolos y todo. Pero digamos que en la comunicación informal, this is the way you're going to find information. I would. I'd like uh, to go out tonight. Y para I will, vamos a ver lo mismo. Ya lo vamos a ver, ¿ok? I will, vamos a ver lo mismo. I will. Oh, uh, you will, you will, uh, he will, he'll, y así vamos, lo mismo para she will, bueno para she es el mismo que he y que it, igual, it'll, it'll be, 
tal cosa. I, uh, I'll do my homework. I'll do my homework. You'll do the chores. He'll do the dishes. It'll run away. It'll pass. Um, para they, sí, casi. O sea, of course, we can abbreviate um, it. However, um, no se va a decir tanto cuando estemos hablando. Pero sí para escribir, sí, you can use it. They'll, we'll. Y así, igual aquí. Edit. Date. Y with. Lo que quiero decir es que estos últimos dos, cuando, when we're speaking, cuando estamos hablando, when we're talking to someone else, for example, estos sí se dicen, they would and we would, they will and we will. Porque al final del día, para abreviar, el punto de abreviar es que toda la comunicación fluya más rápido. And for those specific pronouns, para esos pronouns en específico, sale más fácil decir they will, que decir deo. Um, but for this one, for I, you, he, she, it. Y escuchan cualquier listening, se van a escuchar. Um, I'd like a soda, please. You'd, um, you'd do the same. He, he'd be here. It'd be okay. It would have, it would have been okay. It would have been okay. Etc. Etc. So I did want to make that clear. And, but that's just um, for pronunciation purposes. Tenemos alguna duda con cómo abreviar, guys? Oh, is that okay? No, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Buen um, dato, teacher, gracias. Yo leo historieta y, y, y me perdí un poquito. Por esas abreviaciones, right? Yes, yes. Ya, yeah, porque al principio no las conocemos o no las vemos desde un comienzo. Y we tend to say, ¿y esto qué onda? So, what does it mean? Y cre a veces creemos que es otra palabra. And not, necessar not necessarily, right? Es, probablemente es algo que ya conocemos, pero abreviado. So, I do want to share this with you. Allow me one moment. Ok. Aquí vamos a ver el wheel. So for this one, aquí lo vamos a ver, lo voy a square down. Aquí podemos ver otra forma de abreviar el will, right? That'll be all. That will be all. So for will, as I said, es algo que seguro. Like we are sure that's going to happen. Um, very important. Um, you can contract almost anything in English. Like you can say, that'll be all, this'll be all. Anything can be contracted in English, really. Entonces, no se extrañen si ven eso. It's probably, como les digo, it's probably a word that you already know, pero contraída. So, uh, when we are using will, we are using a word to say something that we are sure it's going to happen. For example, vamos a go back a little bit y ver could. One more, ¿se acuerdan que vimos... Uh, estos modal verbs vimos aquí. Vimos could, may y can. Do you guys remember? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Awesome. So, for example, if the weatherman, si el, la persona del clima dice, there are possibilities of rain for today afternoon. Hay posibilidades de lluvia para hoy en la tarde. 
yo puedo decir, uh, they said it could rain today afternoon. They said it could rain today. Puede que, right? Um, ahora, no vamos a decir it would. I mean, you could say it, but it would rain. Porque el would, a diferencia del could, la diferencia entre could y would, es que el would está sujeto a que pase algo más. Like, it, something needs to happen um, in order for the would to take place. For example, si le estamos haciendo una pregunta a alguien, dependemos de la respuesta de esa persona. Y el could, si yo digo, it could rain today, puede que llueva hoy, puede, puede que no, ok, whatever, right? Pero si yo digo, it would rain today, tengo que decir, pero, it would rain today, but, o sea, depende de algo más. Is that clear? For example, si yo digo, uh, what would you like? Sé que me van a dar una respuesta. O, would you like something to drink? Yes or no, right? Um, and then, for could, is something that can take place or is not going to take place. No sé si se comprende eso or you would like an example of when you can and cannot use it. Yeah, an example. Of course. All right. So, es, es, este es el tipo de modal verbs o de palabras que les digo que a veces al verlas ya en el mundo real, en libros, en noticias, um, like in the news, for example, then you can understand it better. Pero un ejemplo sería este. They said it could rain today. It would rain today, but something. Es como, como decir, ellos, ellos piensan que va a llover hoy por la tarde, algo así. Mm -hmm. They said it could rain today. Dijeron que puede que llueva hoy en la tarde. Y si yo digo... Pero, pero se refiere a, a ellos, a ellos. Ah, es que yo dije, yo di el, yo di el ejemplo que if a weatherman on the TV, uh -huh. eh, si una persona del clima dijo en la tele que iba a llover hoy, entonces yo digo, they said, las personas de la tele, right? They said, uh -huh. oh. They oh. said. Uh -huh. On the TV, they said that it could rain today afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Otro ejemplo podría ser I could go to the park y hasta ahí I could go to the park porque de poder puedo, right? I could go, if I wanted to I could go si yo quisiera pudiera ir pero si yo digo I would go to the park tengo que decir, but, o sea, I could go to the park, podría ir al parque, de poder podría. Pero, decir, I would go to the park, es, iría al parque, pero, pero, so something has to happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no sé si así se comprende mejor. Hay como que más posibilidades, eh, 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 well. Con el could, de la otra manera, porque could. en could es de que yo puedo, de poder yeah. puedo. En wood es que... Puede ir al parque, pero también puede ser otra cosa. Uh, Tendría pero que algo, pasar... Pero algo como me que lo está imposibilitando. Poner, como que tendremos que poner la razón del por qué. Uh -huh. So I would say, I would go to the park, but I have to work, for example. Uh -huh. I would have a drink. But I need to study. I would go out tonight, but I'm tired. En cambio, con could, I could go. I could have a drink. Hay más posibilidad con el could, porque no hay nada que me esté deteniendo. Y con would, is I would, lo haría, pero. So the difference, bottom line, en base es could, podría. Would, puede que lo haría. Right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Excelente. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Is that better? Comprendemos un poco mejor la diferencia entre could y would. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. All right. Cool. Ah, pues hoy sí. Ahora que sabemos la diferencia entre would y could, entonces, for will, now, not a possibility, sino que es algo seguro. It is 100% sure, or let's say like 80% sure. Like, es algo que ya decidimos o que sabemos que va a pasar. So, me preguntan, what are you going to have for dinner? Y esta, esta persona responde, I'll have a small salad. Ya decidí que voy a tomar una ensalada pequeña. I'll have a small salad. Uh, which kind of dressing would you like? I'll have vinaigrette, please. Uh, what would you like to drink? I'll have coffee. Uh, what would you, would you like anything else? No, thank you. That'll be all. Entonces, ¿qué diferencia vemos? Con, si usamos would, lo voy a poner en otro color. Si usamos would, decimos I would like. I would like y I would like. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos diciendo I would like. No sé si lo tienen disponible, pero I would like, a mí me gustaría um, un poco de agua. No sé si me van a decir si tienen o si no tienen, right? Y si yo digo, no, that'll be all. No, ya no quiero nada más. Ya, eso es todo. Ya. Um, oh, would you like something to drink? I would like a nice tea. Puede que me digan, no tenemos. O sea, eso no lo sabemos, right? Entonces, esto ya es una manera como de ser polite. Es la diferencia si le decimos a un mesero y me podría regalar tal cosa. O entre, vaya, tráigame esto, vea. Es, de ambas maneras se puede pedir, pero lo estamos diciendo con un tono diferente. Eh, is, that, ¿Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Teacher, teacher alguna... can you pronounce yeah. again el all aisle all aisle? Ah, okay, I don't know. yeah. I will, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not easy al principio. No es fácil al principio porque hay que acostumbrarla como oh. um, all. Porque, all. 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 Por, por, exacto, por eso mismo, porque como vemos esto y queremos decir I y vemos la L y queremos decir I'll. Oh. I will. So let's not I'll. do that. <laughs> And I'll. let's all. Como que dijéramos all. Okay. Thank Como you. Como que dijéramos all. So I'll have the salad. Oh. Oh. I'll go shopping. I'll, not, not all, all. I see. I'll, uh, I'll go out tonight. I'll like, um, I'll go to the park. Y I, este sí es con I, add. I, I'd like, I'd like, es más, add. I'd like, uh, I'd like a soda, please. I'd like to go to sleep. I'd like to, um, I'd like to get a race, <laughs> for example. Um, esa sería la pronunciación. I'll have the salad. I'll go out. Y para I would. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to read. I'd like to go out. Como que dijéramos add. Y I'll, como que I'll. And teacher, no, thank you. That'll. that'll... That, oh, that that'll. <laughs> that'll. Okay, that'll. Excellent. Yeah, then it's excellent. Perfect pronunciation. That'll be all. So, that will, right? That'll be all. That'll be all. Ajá, como que dijéramos that'll. Como el. That'll. That'll be all. Creo que un reggaetonero es el que se llama así. That'll. Um, 
So, <laughs> so that'll be all. Como que dijimos, that'll. So that'll be all. Y con would, that would be all. That'd be all. Ahí casi no se oye la de. That'd be all. Lo mismo, that is. That'd be all. Dale. Pero casi no se oye la e. Casi no se oye. So that's that'd be all. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Ahorita vamos a hacer un poquito de reading. Of course, no se me van a salvar. Of course, of course, of course. Quiero ver. ¿Qué lo hice? Aquí está. All right. Let's see. Let's do this ones while we are waiting for that to load. I'll have, can I please have, let's see, can I have Aime read this sentence, please? I'll have a small salad. Excellent. I'll have a small salad. Perfect. Allow me one moment. Que si esto no lo estoy molestando, no carga. Okay. Can I please have Emma read this sentence? I like, I'd like the cheese, please. Excellent. I'd like. Perfect, Emma. Thank you. I'd like. Let's see. Can I have Tatiana, Tati, read this sentence. I'd like um, iced tea. Excellent. I'd like nice tea. Remember, guys, esto es de memoria. But remember que cuando tenemos una palabra que termina en ed, for example, iced, hay algunas pronunciaciones que terminan como que sonaran como te, iced. For example, this word sounds like iced. Iced, iced, sí, iced. And then there are other words que terminan en ed, for example, shared, uh -huh, shared, que sí se oye el ed, este sí se oye shared. 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 No, nunca digamos shared, right? That's shared. Y tenemos también otras palabras um, que terminan en ed, como por ejemplo, bueno, bed también se oye. No, pero eso es un noun. Um, un verbo, por ejemplo, um, let me see. Play. Played. Called. Played. Called. Played. Ah, este, este está perfecto. Called. Called. Eh, called. Aquí, no, aquí sí es solo como la de cold. Como que no estuviera cold. la E. Tenemos tres pronunciaciones cold. diferentes. Three different pronunciations, guys. Y les voy a pasar material sobre esto. We have three different pronunciations cuando un verbo o una palabra termina con ed, con ed. We have the pronunciation that sounds as t, the pronunciation that sounds, que suena bien la ed, como en shared, se oye la e y se oye la d, y called, que no se oye la e casi, sino que solo la d, called. And we have those three, pero eso es de pura, de pura práctica. So as much, um, de la misma manera en que practiquemos, hablemos y escuchemos, then se nos van a ir quedando. We will remember. Pero sí, hay tres pronunciaciones diferentes. I know it can be a lot al principio, pero se los prometo que se les va a quedar. O sea, cuando menos se, se den cuenta, ya se los van a poder y ya no se van a equivocar. So, for example, iced, like a tea, right? Iced, iced. And then shared, shared. Shared and called, called, called. Uh, so I would recommend que cuando vean una palabra que termina en ET y you're not sure on how to pronounce it, 
la busquemos y busquemos la pronunciación. So we know, porque sí, la mayoría de estas palabras que terminan en ed, la pronunciación es aprendida. No hay como una regla para saber cuál va a ser cuál. All right. Pero les voy a mandar, les voy a buscar un cuadrito sobre eso. Quiero ver si encuentro con el que yo aprendí. But okay, let's do this conversation para terminar con la clase de today, guys. Y el, para los que no estaban más tempranito, el día de mañana ya vamos a hacer el review del midterm, which is great. Um, so that means que ya estamos a la mitad del module, guys. Okay. Hay, hay tres. Interesante. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have two people. I can know this the platform. I'm sorry? I can know what platform. Why? It's from a uh, work, much work. Oh, you haven't been able, pero, si ten, pero you do have access? Si tiene acceso? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay, yeah. I understand. That's okay. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'll work on the platform. Okay, yeah, thank you. That would be great. Y si tienen alguna duda con la platform, siempre podemos preguntar por WhatsApp y podemos ayudarnos entre todos por ahí. And I will do my best to help you as well. I need um, help that, that work the platform. Yeah, I of course. Help. Of course, I can help you. That's okay. Thank you, teacher. Of course. So, Tomemos estos últimos dos minutitos para hacer esta conversación. Um, ok, can I have two volunteers? Lo voy a dejar de voluntarios. Can I have two volunteers to do this conversation? Uh, Oscar. All right, so who's going to be the customer? Who's going to be the waiter? Aime. Aime, ok, great. So Aime is going to be the waiter and Hugo is going to be the customer. Go ahead, guys. May I take your order? Hello? May Hello? I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kibas. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a, a meated green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Oh, blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Excellent, guys, amazing. All right, so. The only callouts that I'm going to be making is this word and this word. Esta palabra ni siquiera se las tendría que decir. This is not even English. Esto ni siquiera es inglés. Es francés, pero whatever. That's vinaigrette. Um, vinaigrette. Así se dice, así se pronuncia en inglés, right? En francés, otra onda. Pero en inglés, pues, en Estados Unidos dicen vinaigrette. And then, mixed. Este es otro ejemplo de otra palabra que se oye la pronunciación de ed como si fuera una t. So that's mixed. Mixed. As if you were to say mixed. Mixed. So let's just review this conversation very quickly. And may I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. Kebab es una comida árabe. Um, all right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? Dressing is el, alguien sabe que es dressing? El aderezo. Exactly, es el aderezo. Aderezo, el dressing. Excellent, so what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. And the customer says, blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. So those were the only callouts that I had, uh, that I had, sir and ma'am, the, the mixed pronunciation. And 
Well, guys, it's 10.01. Uh, ya les robé dos minutitos porque ya es 10.02. And hasta aquí nos vamos a quedar el día de hoy. Mañana vamos a terminar de ver eh, la section 3. Y vamos a ver un poquito más de ejemplos con Will. Um, y vamos a hacer un listening exercise. Y vamos a hacer el review del midterm, guys. So, thank you very much for sharing this class with me today. Yeah. Recuerden, recuerden, recuerden que sí tenemos mañana porque no tuvimos el lunes. So, see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Good night. 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 Good night.